hello and welcome to a little video about writing equations for trig functions. Okay, so here we have a generic trig function. Sure, I have sine written there, but it could be cosine or even tangent. In these equations, A stands for amplitude, B stands for frequency, which is related to the period we learned about, and I have a beautiful equation for that for you, and C is our midline. So the period and frequency are very closely related. The period, as you saw, tells us how long a cycle is. The frequency shows us uh, how often a cycle is completed. So um, very similar to what we define as frequency in English. So how often it happens. So how frequent it is. Go, Miss Gooman, using the word in its own definition. Anyways, so to find that b value for the equation, we use 2 pi divided by the period. So let's practice that. First, let's find the b value of some sine function that has the period of pi over 2. So b equals 2 pi divided by my period. So I'm just going to use good old-fashioned division symbol right here because my fractions within fractions don't look that great. Okay. Now, when we're dividing fractions, what we're really doing is multiplying by reciprocal. So let's do that. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's see if we can reduce anything. I actually see a single thing that I can reduce, and that is the pi. So we're left with 2 times 2. The period here, the b value, I mean, not the period, the frequency, is 4. Not too bad. Let's try this other one. Let's find the b value, which is the frequency of our function. Okay, once again, we do 2 pi divided by our period. I'm going to write 2 pi as a fraction just to make it easier on myself when I am multiplying by reciprocal. I think just in general, I, I like the look of fractions multiplying by fractions versus just a whole number hanging around. Okay, let's see what I can reduce. Aha! I can reduce the 2 and the 8. I divided them both by 2. Uh, that's about it. Let's multiply straight across. On top, I'm left with 7 pi, and on the bottom, a 4. So in this case, our b value is 7 pi over 4. Okay, now let's build some equations. Okay, so here I have, I want a cosine function, midline 3, amplitude 2, period 5 pi over 4. All right, first things first, I'm going to write out my generic kind of equation. Okay, uh, let's see, A is my amplitude. I'm going to use the period here, although I have to do some math with it. And, of course, I have my midline of 3. Okay. First, I'm going to find the B value because that's the only part I can't just plug in. So let's do that. 2 pi, so let's write B equals 2 pi divided by my period. So let's multiply by a reciprocal. Whoops. I didn't flip it there for a second. All right. I only see one thing that can be reduced. That's our pies. Not too bad. Not too bad. And I get eight fifths. All right. Now I can plug everything in. My equation is amplitude is two. Plug that in. My B value is 8 fifths. My midline, I don't remember it. Ah, it was 3. It's a positive 3, so I write plus 3. One more, and we're good to go. All right, sine function this time, so it will follow this equation. So it's the same as the other one, just with sine written in it. Okay, okay, let's see what we got. We got amplitude 4, great, 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 midline negative 1, okay, and 
and a period of 5, which we'll have to calculate for b, so let's do that. b is 2 pi divided by my period, which is 5, which really becomes 2 pi times 1 over 5. There's really nothing I can reduce, so 2 pi over 5 will be my v, b value. And we are uh, right about done. Our amplitude is 4 sine 2 pi over 5x. Our midline is negative 1, so I write minus 1. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know or ask your teacher. Have a wonderful whatever rest of the day it is for you. Bye.